everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and I came out here primarily to do a knife video, but actually, it's a perfect opportunity also to do this video on this pack that I've been promising for some time. Uh, in many videos recently, I've talked about that there's a pack that I've been testing that has become my new favorite pack, my new go-to pack, and we're going to look at that today. What's important about it today is right now my back is wrecked. You know, I went to the chiropractor the other day to get adjusted. It's still pretty messed up. So I was like, you know what? It's actually a pretty good test. I'm gonna wear this pack out here. I know that it it rides well. It the way it supports with the hips and holding the weight and all that stuff. Got this fully loaded out here for YouTube stuff didn't bother me one bit even though my back is I mean there's no way to really prove that on video but it is uh, the center of my back is all twisted up but because of the way this pack rides it didn't bother me at all so if you want to find out more about this magical wonder pack don't go away What we have here is the newest pack from Sabra Gear, and this is the Sting Pack. And I was actually going to do that, shoot this video, you know, about a week or so ago. And I turned on YouTube, and Ben posted his video on it. And I'm like, eh, maybe I'll just uh, sit on this for another week or so. But this is, like I said, the newest one from Sabra Gear. Uh, same awesome construction that the Mono 48 had. I gave that to Will because his got stolen and he was in desperate need of a pack. So I started, you know, it was overkill for me. This one is perfect for me because I do not do the kind of like backpacking, camping where you go hike in for miles and miles, you know, and set up camp. I just don't do that. Uh, I don't go that far. I go where we have in Ohio. I don't go that far, you know, to set up camp and film. So this one is actually perfect for me because of the amount of stuff that it can actually carry and the fact that it is so freaking comfortable and it has that good padded uh, support strap for the waist that's actually going to cinch down on your hips and carry that weight. That's why I was able to come back here with this fully loaded with a busted back and not look if you got a busted back don't listen to me all right I don't this is not medical advice disclaimer 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 I'm just saying I did it and it was pretty freaking nice what can I say about this pack originally you know we and you've heard this story before because you know I've shown the old Saab Romano 48 in a bunch of different videos. Originally, I come to, you know, I had the partner pouch, which I still do, and uh, Will started reviewing that Mono 48, and he couldn't stop talking about it, how great it was. And then Ben got one, and we were all camping one time, and, and Ben was saying the same thing, it's great, it's great. So I got one, tested it, and I agreed. I thought it was great. It was my, it was my favorite pack. So Saber Gear is one of those companies that I got no problem whatsoever putting my name behind. Because there ain't nobody that's gonna buy one of these packs and be upset. And say, oh, Tedder, he freaking, he lied, but no. Everyone that has a Saber pack freaking loves it, at least that I've seen. So this one is just smaller than the Mono 48. Now, the, the regular pack itself, it's not coming with these extra add-on pouches. But if you've got the add-on pouches, and you don't have to use these pouches. Maybe you've got other pouches because you got Molly uh, Pals webbing on the back. 
you know, so you can attach the different things that you want. Uh, sets up pretty, pretty nice. So let me go ahead and put put this camera back on the tripod. We'll open this up real quick. So I like that it has these two straps that go across the back. Helps cinch down. You can put it straight across these pouches or under above them. Keep everything nice and cinched down. You know, this stuff, I've got like a minor survival kit in here. I moved some of that stuff around to make that hidden woodsman pack, which is inside here. But generally, if I'm just going out to shoot videos, I've got the basics in that pouch. And then up here is where I keep the grabber all-weather blanket when I need to, uh, when the ground is wet or whatnot. So I'm surprised it's not wet right now we've had a lot of flooding the river over here is just like almost up to here so the way this opens up it's got all the YKK zippers all the good materials simple pack it's not it's not like a van quest pack with 50 million pockets got some zipper pockets up here keep a shema in there I don't think there's anything up here nope And it's just, you know, opened up. The only thing I needed out here today, you know, because I'm out filming, I got those two hidden woodsman bags, which I recently showed. So that's my grab and go survival kit. That's my, holy crap, I'm, I cut myself, I'm bleeding out. I'm gonna die kit. And then another, <laughs> another hidden woodsman pouch, which got a bunch of fire starting material in there. Some cordage. And because I'm doing a, a knife video out here, I'm going to need to cut some wood. I got my Silky Zoo back. So, what you do have a pocket in here. Got D-rings and such. So if you want to uh, set this up as a hydration uh, type pack, you do have a little port here where you can run your drink tube. It's got all the perfect points for cinching things down, adjusting your weight. I uh, got carry handle. It's got two of these loops on the back so if you're carrying tools like axes or whatnot, you know you put them in here, you flip them up and then you are able to cinch them down in place. Probably should have brought that cold steel hawk which I'm so good with. Uh, <laughs> the axe king hatchet could have demonstrated that so you put that in there flip it up and then you can lock it in place with the two straps and then you've got straps down here so if you want to put a bedroll or something on the bottom of it I mean you could actually do like a one-nighter with this uh, no problem if you're just gonna do some simple hammock camping and you don't need you know five days worth of clothes or whatnot you know this is this is plenty big this is plenty big without going too big. That's what I like about it. It's like the perfect size for me in the way that I use it, the way, what I need from packs. You know, the only time I would need anything bigger is if we were doing some sort of big trip. But generally speaking, uh, around here, I'm usually no further than, you know, maybe a half mile, mile tops from the vehicle. And I might have something coming up here soon that'll make transport and stuff even easier. But yeah, I mean this thing. I I've been talking about this for about a month and a half, two months. Been using it that long. It quickly became my go-to favorite pack. I love this pack. I love this pack. This is a Jessica listed pack. Uh, I know you see several. There, you know, there are several YouTubers that get Sabra stuff. So you can wah, 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 the tinfoil hat stuff all you want. But dang it, it is that good. I put my name behind it. It's like, I like, I love these packs. I love the Sabra gear packs. Yes, they're made in Israel, so if you've got some weird issue with that, I can't help you there. But they're freaking bomb proof. If I had a bomb here, I would show you. I'd just put it, put it in the pack, set it off, pack's gonna be fine. Okay, maybe not. That's an exaggeration. I was just kidding. So. 
water bottle pockets. You got Pal's webbing here on the sides. Uh, you got Pal's webbing up here on on the waist strap, so you can add pouches there if you wish. I just got some uh, some mechanics wear gloves here. One bar support. The biggest reason, if I had to narrow it down, besides design materials and all that is Sabra gear stuff you know I'm old I'm I, I'm dusty very decrepit you know I'm, I'm 45 it's like oh my god I'm my life is you know four-fifths over <laughs> it feels like it sometimes though this does not hurt Sabra gear stuff has been the most comfortable packs as far as load support and just not hurting my back. That's the thing with tactical packs. Tactical packs generally don't have that hip support. So it ends up, it'll hurt your back after a while. That's why I keep using the Sabra stuff. So yeah, it's a premium pack, but you know, if, if it's in your budget, great. If not, you know, at least you know about it. Maybe someday you'll keep it in mind if you uh, sell grandpa's old record collection or something like that. And you got, you know, two, three hundred bucks and you want to get a new pack. Definitely uh, keep this one in mind. I give it two thumbs up. I love it. So if these packs interest you, I'm going to put links to the website in the description box below, sobergear.com. Uh, yeah, you'll see it again. I'm trying to, I'm working on getting more things, uh, you know, to break up the, the knife and flashlight monotony, you know, looking at packs and, and thing, you know, I got several things that are kind of outside the norm for me coming, but yeah, I mean that, I love that freaking pack. I just do. You know, Sabra stuff is awesome. And if you don't believe me, you think it's because, you know, they sent it to us for a review, but think that. I, I can't, I can't control what other people think. If you think it's a big conspiracy, and people do, still, you know, fine. Don't believe me. I don't care. Uh, I stand by it though. That's why it's going on the J list. So, like it that much. All right, so I got some more videos to do today. So I'm gonna sign off from this video. Christian Prepare Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. All the links that support the channel, the t-shirts, DLT, nice ship free, yada, yada, yada. I got some more stuff I'm working on. can be found in the description box below along with the links to Sabra Gear. So I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then.